Hello, and welcome to Talk Geek, a series written by a geek for geeks. I'm Sean Reimer, I don't rhyme, and this is the USS Enterprise, as seen in the 2009 film Star Trek. This is the ship that made me fall in love with the Enterprise and Star Trek as a whole. It even has a broken deflector dish from me playing with it too much, much like my gentleman's sausage. Naturally, the first film made me very, very excited for a second film, and when it was announced, my 14-year-old mind was stoked. But nowadays, my 22-year-old mind has grown cynical, as there's a much better sequel that is much more beloved by the Star Trek community, The Wrath of Khan. Does Star Trek Into Darkness deserve all the hate? Does The Wrath of Khan deserve all the love? Beyond the darkness, beyond the human evolution, is Khan, a genetically superior tyrant. Exiled to a barren planet, banished by a starship commander he is destined to destroy. Left for dead, he has survived. Well, the answers, much like all these timelines, are complicated. First, let's start with what each film got right, individually. Wrath of Khan, much like the motion picture before it, rewards viewers of the original series, but whereas the motion picture wanted to be a longer version of an original series episode, with less action and more... Club unit. The Wrath of Khan takes a sequel approach to the fan-favorite episode Space Seed, while also making it fit a film format better. To be clear, it doesn't rely on action, but when it does, it's slow and tense. This contrast track after it, which is much more fast-paced, including Into Darkness. It's also a simple good versus evil story, but one that's drenched in backstory and performed so intensely that you do wonder how our heroes will escape. And spoiler, one of them doesn't escape. Into Darkness is the opposite in that it's very complex, with multiple characters' wants intersecting. And given the brand new timeline and the chaos that created it, each character has relatable goals. The action, while not as atmospherically tense, is directed quite well and is very visually stunning. J.J. Abrams knows how to use the setting to its full potential. So why don't we remember Into Darkness as fondly? While Into Darkness does use its setting well in action scenes, it fails to use the characters as well. You have a ship full of scientists and pilots and engineers against a cold calculated super soldier, I guess we know how Captain America was frozen in time, and the best you can do is have them beat the shit out of each other? In The Wrath of Khan, it's like Kirk and Khan are playing Battleship with the amount of mind games they're playing against each other. Khan steals a Federation ship to trick Kirk, so Kirk uses his status as an admiral to lower its shields. So Khan maroons Kirk on a dead planet, only for Kirk to take Khan into a nebula and... Okay, you, you get where I'm going. Go watch the damn movie. Think about the end fight in Into Darkness. Uhura has to tell Spock to stop beating up Khan, only for Spock to land the last punch. The Wrath of Khan is so brilliant that Khan technically thinks he's won. He died before the Enterprise escaped. Remember, Khan learned the Enterprise's warp drive was knocked out, so he dies comforted as, to his knowledge, the Enterprise can't get away. There are some other nitpicks about Into Darkness that I can mention, such as the over-reliance on nudity, Turn around. and Spock facetiming his future self to figure out how the Wrath of Khan ended because they don't have Paramount Plus or whatever the hell it's called in 2259. There's also JJ's weird directing technique for getting actors to cry. Whenever actors cry in this movie, they don't blink for a long time, and when they do, all these tears come out. I'm an actor, and any good actor knows you don't cry like this. In addition, Into Darkness has a brand new timeline with new stories to tell, and it just told a worse version of Wrath of Khan instead. But that's not the root problem of why Into Darkness failed. The main reason is this. It tried to be both The Wrath of Khan and Space Seed at the same time. The Wrath of Khan and Space Seed each had a lot of time to develop Kirk and Khan's relationship. 
Kirk hates Khan for trying to take over a ship, and Khan hates Kirk for killing his family. In Into Darkness, Kirk goes after Khan because of Pike's death, but Khan is indifferent to Kirk. He wants to go after Marcus more. Even after Marcus dies, it's Spock that Khan wants to kill when Spock appeared to blow up Khan's crew. And the problem with going after Spock is A, it's only for the finale of the film, and B, Kirk is the focus for most of the movie. Even worse, Into Darkness has to tell its Space Seed and The Wrath of Khan story in just over two hours. It wants to go for spectacle, so it drops a lot of the backstory needed, which makes its story fall flat. Even if you haven't watched the original episode, The Wrath of Khan is still able to fall back on its backstory and the intensity of the battles. It's interesting how both these films are quite similar and yet they had opposite outcomes and circumstances surrounding them. The Wrath of Khan had to save Star Trek after the disaster that was the first film while having half the budget of it. And after its success, it greenlit a line of new movies and TV shows while bringing in the next generation of fans, literally. The same can't be said for Into Darkness. It came out at the height of the Star Trek boom after the 2009 reboot and once it left theaters? It led to the Calvin Universe bombing in 2016 after the amazing Star Trek Beyond barely broke even, which just killed Star Trek in the silver screen. Or has it? There's a new film coming out facing a similar battle The Wrath of Khan faced in 1982. Trek is alive on your TV or phone, but this could bring Trek back to the theaters for a long time to come. And even if it doesn't, at least there's the Wrath of Khan to make you feel better. And on that wonderful note, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching the premiere episode of this series. Stay tuned for more. In the meantime, good night.